Okay, let's understand this problem. We are given a finite duration sequence xn of length 20 and we need to find the DTFT of the signal at the frequency 10 pi over 27. We need to find a DFT based procedure that will help us accomplish this. Now the solution of this is quite simple if you remember your relationship between the DFT FT of a sequence and its DTFT. So remember uh, that endpoint DFT of XN is simply samples of the DTFT of your signal. So X of K is given by x of e to the j omega where omega is 2 pi k over n. So you are asked to compute so we need x of e to the j omega at omega equal to 10 pi by 27. This means we have if we break it down into this form 2 pi k over n we see that we need 10 pi over 27 this is equal to 2 pi k over n if we do that then we see that we need k over n to be equal to 5 by 27 okay this is our relationship that what we should do is compute an endpoint DFT and then look at the kth sample of that DFT such that k over n is 5 by 27. So the easiest thing is we can select we can simply select n equals 27 that's the smallest n that we can have and if we do that then this means that k will be equal to 5. So then the procedure is zero pad xn <coughs> by seven zeros because our original xn is of length 20. Number two we simply compute 27 point DFT of the zero padded sequence and finally we gather the x5 sample of the DFT then x of 5 will be the same as x of e to the j omega with omega equal to 10 pi by 27 okay so the basic idea is if you remember your relationship between the DFT and the DTFT of a sequence we simply find out what is the relationship between k over n that we need we found n to be 27 so we just zero padded xn by 7 zeros computed the DFT and looked at x of 5